vlog. We have Michelle in the kitchen. Hello. And then we have Carlos over here. Hello. I just ended the last vlog and I'm starting a brand new one. We have an update for you guys. Ta-da! We have our shade blinds. I don't know what they're called. Shades, blinds, one of them. I haven't, op I haven't opened a, I haven't opened a lock in a while. Like a since company. high school. Yeah. I used to have a lock in high school too. I feel like it's shades. I think they're shades. Because blinds are the strips, you know. Mm -hmm. Yes. So I'm very, very excited because Carlos, but do you have the remote? Huh? You lost it already. <laughs> Wait, where's the remote? Oh, it's oh, over there. Yeah. I have to show you guys. Um, so the sh uh, the shades and blinds came earlier than expected. I got the call yesterday and I was so excited because originally they told us that it wasn't gonna come until February, but it came today and I'm so excited. We don't feel like we're living in a fishbowl, basically. It's cold. Is it? I started getting that like, nose thing, you know? You guys are opening up a package and I'm very, very excited for this one. I'm totally excited. Totally excited? Hi, Ryan. Are you excited? I'm excited. Are you excited? I'm really excited. I might put I might put it in the frames right now because that's how excited I am. Damn, AK's gonna make Michelle fucking put it in there. Because you're the best at everything. Look, when Michelle does it, nothing gets fucked up. When I do it, I feel like three times. Shut up. I don't know, you make bouncy sauce. I do make really good fish sauce. Oh, there we go. Why do I feel like I'm gonna be a set of here? Say what? <laughs> Why do I feel like I'm gonna be obsessed with it? The fish sauce? No. Oh. What? The poster. Oh yeah, weren't you gonna get a HB one? Yeah. I'm very, very excited. Mm. Are we ready? Yeah. Oh my goodness. Oh, what? It's so nice. Oh, you me. I thought there was a, um, no, it's so a nice. Oh man, kind of got dented. Play. I don't want to play. I don't want to play. Wait, mom, can you help me? Yeah. The dog is trying to take advantage of me. Riley, you can only help her during the day. Ooh. <gasps> I don't know how to do this. Thank you for the good times. Oh, Vietnam, you never look so beautiful. Đẹp quá. Đẹp quá. Trời ơi, đẹp quá. Đẹp quá, bạn ơi, đẹp quá. Oh, I've never been so proud to be Vietnamese. Wait, are they seeing it? No, 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 I'm going to show everybody. Okay, so Carlos and I wanted to bring some culture, because that's really important to us, into our household. And so, in the dining room area, we're doing this poster that we found online. And this is of Vietnam. Can you guys see? Oh, it's so beautiful. And then we got a Mexico one. Let me do this. Oh, I gotta um, do it over here. Before one of the dogs eat it or... Okay, be careful. Oh. I feel like it's white. Oh, yeah. We gotta put something flat on it for the night. The cutting board? Oh, yeah, that's a good idea. We also got one of Mexico, and it's really cute. I'll show you guys once it's up, but it has a picture of Mexico, and then it says Mexico, and then it gives you a history and background on Mexico. So it's kind of, I want it to be, um, I want it to like be chic, but also have a meaning. Do so they know what quote you're gonna put too? No, and then in the middle I'm putting a quote. I have to print it out. Uh oh, it doesn't look pretty. It's hot today, y'all. It is. Oh my gosh, it's, it's the next morning. Uh, Michelle and I started watching last night a show, and we went to bed at 2 in the morning. It's called Bling Empire, <laughs> and it's basically a reality TV show version of um, Crazy Rich Asians. So it follows all of these really rich Asian people in the LA area. Mm -hmm. And the reason we watched it is because our friend Taylor mm -hmm. um, from LA is one of the field producers, so we wanted to support him. I loved it. We're going to finish it today, but that's why I didn't really vlog much yesterday. I took a day off and we're thinking about changing the schedule so Carlos and I can take Friday and Saturday off. So we'll post Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday, which is still pretty good, you guys. It's five days out of the seven. I know a lot of creators, well, some creators post daily vlogs, which I really enjoy for like a short period of time, but it does get like overwhelming. So we're thinking about doing just five vlogs a week and then mukbangs every other day, but I'll confirm that with you on Instagram. I'll post something, so no worries. Today, we are going to Home Goods. We have to go to Lowe's to get some construction stuff for the bedroom and then we have to go to Target um, to get 
things around the house and they are all close to each other so um, that's what we're doing today and then this afternoon we're doing Korean barbecue out in the California room. Carlos is going to build the table for us and we're gonna sit outside and have dinner together, which is exciting. And then Michelle's leaving tonight and another week, you guys. I cannot believe it is the third week, right? Third week of January? Uh-huh. Oh, wait, since I haven't really vlogged since the last video, I didn't give you guys an update on the mouse situation. <laughs> So, in the last video, if you guys got a chance to watch it, we found mouse poop in the garage. And a week prior, like the second day of living in this house, I went into the garage to get the dog, uh, to get the dog food because we didn't move it inside the house yet. And I remember seeing a small something run across me. And I told you guys, I thought it was a lizard or a mouse. So, for like a week, we were like kidding around. And I was telling Carlos and Michelle how there's like a lizard mouse because I couldn't figure out uh -huh. if it was a small mouse or a lizard. And then in the last vlog, we confirmed that it was a mouse because we had we found mouse poop along the edges and in a few places in the garage. So I got freaked out. I called the rodent person. I don't know what they're called. Term exterminator? The rodent the Are they pest control? I don't know. I I called this like I literally went on Yelp and I looked for mouse people. I basically uh, paid for somebody to come in and spray the whole entire house and put mouse traps everywhere in the garage. So right now the boys are not a, the dogs are not allowed. Sorry, my hand is this camera is really heavy. It's very very heavy. So he put mouse traps in the garage. He also put mouse traps outside, and it's completely pet friendly. But the ones that inside the garage are the sticky ones, and we don't want our dogs in there because po possibly cause something could happen. So yeah. So um, they came, and I was like, "Can you just come every single month?" Because now I'm just so freaking paranoid. So they're gonna come every single month, and they're like, "If you see a mouse that gets caught, call us. We'll come out and take care of everything for you. Or if you have spiders or um, ants or anything, just let us know." Um, um, basically, we'll take care of you for the year. So I feel a little bit better. But anywho, so yesterday, Michelle, um, Michelle, oh my God. <laughs> Are you okay? I have like camera arthritis right now. It is a very heavy camera. So yesterday, Michelle came and Michelle, Carlos, and I emptied the whole garage. I was so paranoid. Wait, I did I tell you guys about the cubes? I don't even think I told you guys about the cubes. The night before the mouse guy came... I went to Lowe's. You guys remember that night I vlogged and I was like, I'm going to Lowe's. But I never gave you guys an update. I went to Lowe's and I bought those like poisonous um, green cubes. And Carlos put six of them out into the garage. Mm -hmm. And when we checked the next morning, one of them was gone. There was only five left. And then when we cleared out the garage, we found that the other piece was like dragged like literally two feet away. So that's how I knew there was still a mouse mm -hmm. in the garage. Mm -hmm. So then yesterday when Michelle got here, Michelle, Carlos, and I all cleared out the garage. I wanted the whole place empty. I wanted to like unbox everything in there. I wanted to throw away things. I wanted to shake baskets. Like we did everything possible. And guess what? We did not find the mouse. No, nope. we did find poop. We did find a crap ton of mouse poop. So I wonder if they're in here trying to keep warm because it's been really really cold mm -hmm. so that's basically what happened and then Carlos also Carlos had left one of the cube pieces out mm -hmm. and it was moved yeah so but anyways long story short yesterday we cleaned the whole garage we sweeped we cleaned, we unboxed we did everything mm -hmm. and there was no mouse no mouse I'm so frustrated so we think that the mouse is really small like we're talking about like this small like yeah. this, like maybe the size of my pinky. Yeah. Really small and fast. So we're thinking that it escaped while we were cleaning and we didn't see it. And then last night we left one of the cubes out too and it hasn't been touched and we have not seen any mouse poop. Nope. So we're thinking that it's gone. And then I asked my neighbor and he said that, cause my neighbor moved in a week before me and he said that when he moved in, he had what, three? He was very specific. He said he had a few like mice run around the boxes in his garage. So he says it's completely normal. It's because we're destructing their land down there. Yeah. Because it's new construction. So all the mice are like migrating towards the new homes. But I think eventually as everyone moves in. They'll eventually move. They'll eventually move. I have a fear of mice, but I still at the same time feel bad. But I'm. it's just like if one of the, if they bite our dogs are like you know bring in their families that's really not what I'm looking for here you know well your neighbor was also saying that 
he thinks that they hang around his barbecue, remember? Because he said his he'll let his dogs out to the backyard oh. and he'll bolt for the barbecue. Yeah. And, like, freak out around there. Why the barbecue? Because it's... Well, he said he has his covered. So uh -huh. I wonder if they're using it as shelter. Oh my god, that would be my worst nightmare if I lifted up the grill cover yeah. and saw a family of mice. <laughs> I would shit myself. Well, you wouldn't do it. I would obviously. faint. I literally you would just do faint. it. Oh my gosh, that's scary. We are prepping for Korean barbecue today, you guys. I'm making the salad part. We use romaine lettuce, if anybody's curious. We were gonna eat outside, but it's way too hot. How hot is it today? Like, in fall. Michelle and I just got home. We didn't end up going to Home Goods because we forgot it's Saturday, um, and the line was super long. We didn't want to be around everybody. So we just went to Best Buy to get security stuff, and then, we went to Target, and that's it. I just cooked rice for the first time in my little mini rice cooker. I'm so excited. I'm gonna open it and see what's going on here. I need my rice thing. Ooh! Did it work? Did it work? Did it work? Wait, that was so fast. That was really fast. Oh. Baby, look at the white rice. Ooh. That looks good. Yeah. Mom, look. Good job. It looks uh. Oh, it looks perfect. Yeah, it's not too uh, not too soft. Oh yeah, perfect. I'm just gonna keep it in there. Looks great. Timmy! You know what I'm about to do it right now. Timmy! You have to, you gotta, you gotta tell them where we got this idea. Timmy, I can't do it. Come on, you got better beat than I do. You were in cheer. Come on. We're getting a popsicle. Ready? Burr! Yeah! And go! Good morning, friends! It is the next day. I feel like, if I'm remembering correctly, this vlog is covering three days, and the last two days I've been so busy off camera, I haven't been able to pick up the camera. It is, you guys should really try it one day. It's so hard to go on with your day and do things you need to do and then constantly have to remember to like pick up a camera. And I try to remember all the time because I want to share my day with you guys, but sometimes it gets a little bit hard because I'm like, like when we were cleaning the garage, it was just like quick, 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 quick. And I didn't get a chance to get like B-roll or anything. But today is Sunday. We um, decided not to upload a vlog this morning. So if you guys have been following me on Instagram, then you guys probably saw my post that says, there's no mukbang our vlogs on Sundays and Carlos and I decided after trying our schedule for two weeks now we decided that it's really important to have quality time aside from work I'm sure a lot of you guys can relate that weekends sometimes are your favorite times of the week and we at first we're just taking Saturdays off but now we're gonna take no babe Fridays and Saturdays off no, but the videos go, okay, anyways. Yeah, Fridays and Saturdays, there are no videos, and then some, it, so videos are gonna be um, Sunday through Thursday. And yes. Friday and Saturday, there will be no videos. Sorry, I just like got really confused. And the reason that we don't have a video up on Sunday is because we're starting the schedule this week, so we decided to take Sunday off as well, but, from now on, there will be vlogs Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. Friday and Saturday are days off. We will not be posting vlogs or anything. It's just better for us and our mentality. Um, but anyways, we're eating breakfast right now. I 
I am having leftover soybean soup that Oma made me. I'm so, so excited. I think today I'm going to attack all these boxes or I might want to go to Home Goods. I don't think I'm going to go to Home Goods. I think I'm going to attack these boxes. Home Goods can wait. We went to um, Target Best Buy yesterday and Home Goods had a line, so I was like, mm. Oh, really? Yeah. I'm very excited for dinner tonight, babe. I um, started using my new rice cooker, you guys, and ooh, I'm obsessed, it's everything. I would link it, but I got it at a Korean store. I didn't get it online. It's that, um, there's this Korean store next to H Mart on Garden Grove, in Garden Grove, uh, on Garden Grove Boulevard, in Garden Grove. And it's to the right of, so on the right of H Mart, there's a Korean corn dog, hot dog place, and then on the right of that, there's a Korean store that sells like little um, pots, pans, dishes and stuff. That's where I got it. Mm. I'm so excited. I wanna share with you guys new pots and pans that I recently just got. They are from the brand Caraway. And the reason I got this is because I see a lot of YouTubers use it and I watch Sophia Chang. If you guys don't watch Sophia Chang, you definitely should. Her vlogs are amazing. And she recommended these. She says it's one of her favorites and I see her use it all the time in her vlogs. I got this color. As you guys can tell, our house is pretty white. So when it comes to pots and pans, that's where I experiment and I like to have a little bit of fun. And I love, love this color. My other pot that I use. Where's my other pot that I use? Wait, where is it? I think Carlos put it away from me. We did the dishes this morning and we wiped out the counter and everything and then I did a little bit of vacuuming. I don't know what all the dogs are doing. But anywho, oh there it is. This is my um, always pan and it's from the brand Our Place, I believe. This is one of my favorites. I love this color and then I figure I can match by just buying the same color for the caraway pans. But they come in um, this lid organizer. So these are all the lids and then these are all the pots and pans. It also comes with a pots and pan organizer but Michelle unboxed this for me and she didn't know that it was an organizer so she threw it away. So I reached out to caraway hoping that possibly I can buy an organizer from them or or if they would be kind enough to send me one because it comes with an organizer where you can put it in your drawer and the pots will be like organized standing up like this so it'll be easy to grab but unfortunately that's what happened so I'm still waiting for Caraway to get back to me but I bought this set and I bought this color it's so cute this is the whole entire set it comes with four pots and then three lids because I think one of the lids fits for everything and I got it on sale it's originally really expensive, but I got it for like 150 off because it was during their Thanksgiving Christmas sale. But yeah, I'm very excited to use them. If you guys have this, comment down below. I will start using them and then give you my opinion after using them for a while. It also came with this, which is so cute. But yeah, they have other colors as well. I really like their color choices and I'm really excited to see how the quality is. Waiting for the middle frame. What is the middle frame? It's gonna be a, a black quote on white paper. All oh, right, all right, all right, right, right. Oh my god. I like it. It looks dope. That looks really pretty. Wait, wait, mommy's gonna open the thing first. The thing that daddy broke. What are you talking about? How is it broken? It works. Cooper. Ah. Uh.
Are you okay? <laughs> Why are you not having fun in life? <laughs> Whatever, man. Okay, we're gonna make dinner and then I'm going to unbox. Hey, you promised me and you said you would duct tape the thing. You lie. Choose one, the paint or the duct tape. I choose duct tape. Okay, fine, I'll duct tape. The Gorilla duct tape is where you found this. I'm gonna do dinner. Hello. No! <laughs> what are we doing? I'm gonna poke. Ready? Yeah. <laughs> um, I'm gonna make dinner and then I'm going to unbox all that stuff in front of the man cave. It's piling up, baby. What's up? We started watching the Night Stalker documentary on Netflix. But before you guys watch that, you definitely should watch Bling Empire on Netflix. Support our friend Taylor. He was the field producer in it. Go Taylor! I'm going to mix your meat right now. Oh, should I do my, oh babe! What? Should I use my new pants today? Oh, you know when you get new stuff, you don't want to use it? Oh. I know, that's how I am with most of the new stuff that but I have. But these pants are expensive. Don't use them right now. Use them for like a special occasion, like a cooking video or something. Okay. That's dope. You want you want to whip them out when they're brand new and shiny, you know? Okay, I'll use them. I'll use them too. She'll use them in a cooking video. I'll use my T one. The T one. Yeah, this brand's really expensive, but I found it on home at at Home Goods. Tifa. Tifa. Mr. Cooper, what were you doing in the bedroom, huh? Did you go pee? In the bedroom? Did you pee? Did you poop? You have that face. That face you make when you pooped. Did you poop? He's not, he's not answering. He's not answering. No. <laughs> Mr. Look Cooper. Look at this huge mixing bowl I found. Holy crap. That thing's huge. Casper. Oh, I love him. Come here. Did you tell our friends the good news about tomorrow? What happened tomorrow? They're gonna start on our backyard. Ooh, ow. What happened, did you cut yourself? No. Well, yeah, our backyard starts tomorrow. Wow, I took out a big pan and I'm only doing one piece. <laughs> I thought there were more. What is, look at this, you guys. I thought there were more pieces <laughs> in here. Whatever. Wait. <laughs> Whatever. It's just like. You know, sometimes when I eat cereal, I'm like, I'm gonna start eating cereal. Out of this. Do not touch this. <laughs> Do you want to eat your rice with galbi or uh, flat meat? Are you? Aren't you cooking both? No. Oh. Whatever's easier. <sighs> Which one do you want, baby? Whatever's easier. The flat. You want the flat? Then just say you want the flat. No, I'm saying, but it's easier because you're already doing the flat, right? Or am I wrong? No, I'll just do the flat for you. Wait, I thought the dogs were getting flat steak. Yeah. So, what are you gonna eat? Hmm? That's not gonna be enough for both. We can share. I'm eating this and this. So, wait, so you are cooking the gobble. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you guys, you guys should buy this. This is the Chef uh, Marito. Chef Marito. Steak and meat seasoning. Oh, put this on anything and it's, it's gonna be a win-win. It's really good. How do you know? Because I can taste it when you cook it. <laughs> yeah, okay. And then I always put a little pepper. Mr. Cooper, come here. Seriously, why did I decide to mix in this? I don't know, baby. I'm really excited though. I'm actually like super stoked about this backyard. And then we're gonna get a grill for the backyard and then we're gonna do some backyard patio furniture. I really want that thing, but what thing? it's not the backyard patio set. Oh, the one that you showed me? Yeah, but it's not in stock yet. Oh man, everything's out of stock. Are we doing a little uh, fire pit thing? I don't know because how realistic are we gonna sit there with a fire pit? Wouldn't you rather use that money and get some um, heating lamps? Mm, but I think, but I think the fire pit is a little bit cooler than the, like. Uh, but the I guess my fear is lamps. that I don't want to lose any real estate because Riley loves running back and forth. I don't want a fire pit to get in his way and some chairs. No, but uh, the chairs, we don't have to have them set out on the fire pit. The chairs, we can bring them out whenever we need them. Mm. You know? I guess we can look into it. We'll decide when it's We'll see. We, we found a really nice one at Living Spaces. Oh, that big one? Yeah. No, it's not even that big. But it doesn't match our aesthetic. It's a, oh, the fire pit? The fire pit. Oh, uh, yeah, not the fire big. Pit. Okay. Yeah, the, we found like a little fire. Oh, yeah, I do love a that A little... Uh, fire pit. Yeah. The thing you can use to what make is it? Walls. What is it? Yeah. <laughs> 
thing you can use to make small. I don't know. It's really cool. And it's it was black, right? I use this big shit for just this. I'm pissed right now because <laughs> <laughs> I gotta wash this whole thing. Yeah, it was black or something. I don't know, but it was really nice. And living spaces. Living spaces is is lit. Is lit. Litty titty three titty. What do you it's say? It's litty three titties. And then if you want to get even littier than that, you, you say litty four titties. A little seasoning, a little muya. Mm -hmm. You gotta put that on a shirt. A little bit of muya. People wouldn't get it though. Oh wait. I mean, if they watch you, they will. Oh my god. Do you need help? Yeah, I do. Why, why can I not get it today? Simple. Okay, <laughs> Hey, do you remember when you were building your, um, your Ikea things for the pantry? Okay. <laughs> And I came in and snipped. Snip. Hey, do you remember when you couldn't see the sliding door and you ran into it and broke it? Yeah. Good times, very good times. <laughs> what are you talking about? They don't even know what you're talking about. You want to tell them? All right, you guys, so. Story time. So when. Wait, they want to see your beautiful face too. Long story short, it was. It was literally it was the a day. It was a, the it was day, day before, before we moved, moved in. in. It was the day before we moved in. We came, we made a trip to our new home and we dropped some stuff off, right? To. Just get, whatever, get a head start on the movie and stuff. And uh, we decided to go outside in the backyard for some reason. And I was outside and I closed the screen door. And then Kim like came out and she didn't see the screen door. <laughs> are you kidding me right now? Why are you always lying? You guys, she didn't see the screen door and she walked right into it and it fell. I've decided to cut the meat shorter. <laughs> you guys. He's lying to you. We are back. We ran out of memory. Can you turn around, dude? We ran out of memoria. What? Memoria. Yesterday I made four and it was... Hey, did I talk to you in Spanish when I fell asleep on the couch? Oh my god, yeah, what did you say? I have no idea. I was I was literally, I was in deep sleep. What did you say, though? It was something along the line of, like, Aragua. <laughs> I probably I probably said something along the lines like, oh, I'll go right now. like. Oh, oh my god, yeah, so I tried to wake you up because it was super late. This was like Friday night. Yeah. It was Friday night, and I tried to wake you up, and you kept saying that three times. Yeah, I don't know. I was I was actually in deep sleep. I actually knocked out on the couch in my little man cave area, and you and Michelle were talking. You guys were watching TV or something in the room, and I ended up falling asleep. And I do remember you waking me up, and I remember... T t I remember talking to you, but you kept saying, what are you saying? And I was, in my mind, I was getting frustrated because I was like, what do you mean? Like, I'm right. literally talking to you. Oh, so you were speaking in Spanish. Yeah. Because I went to Michelle and I was like, hey, he's saying something. But I, don't... <laughs> <laughs> I was like, I was like, hey, he's saying something, but I don't know what he's saying. And she was like, what he's saying? And I was like, I don't know. It's something like Araguala. And she was like, what the fuck? We yeah. thought you were like going crazy. No, I was probably uh, I probably spoke to you in Spanish. Oh, okay. Yeah, I was out. You repeated it three times, and I was like, "What are you saying?" I'm trying to remember what I said exactly, but I think I think I said like uh, like I'll get up right now or okay, something. Okay, well, let me tell you, it was really scary at three o'clock in the morning in the dark, and that's all you were saying to me. <laughs> Made me some kimchi radish. I'm gonna eat with the with the rice today. Thank you, Oma.
Hi guys. We're at the front man yeah. cave area. We're gonna watch this new show on Netflix. What is it called, baby? It's Stalker a, of the Night. It's uh, <laughs> Stalker in the Night. It's a documentary. It's called Night Stalker. Oh, I was close. And uh, it, it's uh, with Richard Ramirez, or it's about Richard Ramirez, so the mm. serial killer. He's trying to steal your orange or your apple juice. I know. What do you have to say about that, Cooper? Cooper. Oh my goodness. <laughs> he. Our dogs love licking the side of the cup. Oh, We're in the, Riley, where are you going, Bobs? Michelle left. Look over there. Your spot's over there. Go to somewhere. your spot. Go to your spot. We haven't taken the end of the couch off yet. We're gonna do that hopefully soon. Clear out a space in the garage. We cleaned the garage, you guys. We have to show you. The garage looks really nice. It does. Yeah, we got rid of everything, basically. It's not cluttered anymore. Yes. And we're just gonna enjoy some television. And then I'll probably um, quickly schedule to upload a mukbang. And yeah. Yeah.